training of users from your app. Hi, I'm Alex the Architect from MacFrap and this is Talking to the Architect and today we'll be answering Dred's question. Dred asked, I am not able to implement a system to ban users from my app. Can you help? Hi Dred, thank you so much for your question and yes I can. So when you have to ban users from your app, you need to store this information somehow. And the best way to do that is to add a boolean to the user class telling if the user is banned or not. So to illustrate that, here I am at a totally new application in back for app and I'm going to go to user class and in here I'm going to add a new column, choose the type boolean and call it is banned. I'm going to choose a default value of false. so new users start not banned and click add column. As you can see my is banned as a boolean showed up there and I now can add a user and you will see that the new user will not be banned having is banned to false. So I'm going to click to click add a row, put a username so Alex K and a password so ABC123. When I click add, if I scroll down you'll see that is banned is false. Now here I am at Visual Studio and I'm going to write some code so we can test the login for this user. I'm going to start typing let user equals await because this is an asynchronous call parse.user.login. This method takes two parameters. The first one is the username, so Alex K, and the second one is the password, so ABC123. And if anything goes wrong with this method, I'm going to put a catch and get the error. That's why you arrow function to some code where I'm going to print out the error that happened. So console log error and then error. Now, if this succeeds, I want to print a the user a logged in message. So if user console log user logged in else console log user not logged in. I'm going to save this and just run. Remember, this user is not banned right now, so it should be able to log in just OK. Node index.js, hit enter, and there we go, user logged in. Now let's implement a cloud code function that actually a cloud code trigger that checks if the user is banned or not. So back to my app, I'm going to go to cloud code, functions and web hosting, and open my main.js file. And in here we're going to write a before login trigger that will be triggered every time a user tries to log in, but prior to logging in, it will check if the user is banned or not. We do that by typing parse.cloud.before login. This will have an async request that we're going to arrow function to our code. Inside here, we have to read the user from the request. We'll do that by typing const object user equals request. This will, oops, this will read the user object every time you try to log in. Now, we have to read the isBand variable in order to see if the user is banned or not. So if user.get is banned, which is a boolean, so I don't have to put equals true. We're going to throw new error telling this user has been banned. Now I'm going to deploy this code. And with that out of the way, we can test once more. Remember, this user is not banned, so it should be able to log in. So note index.js, user logged in. Now, if I go back to my class and open the user class and change this user to is banned to true, make sure you persist it. Now, back to Visual Studio, if I try to run it once again, 
there you go this user has been banned and user not logged in so this is the easiest way for you to check if the user is able or not to join your application this is very safe and remember this all happens before the user actually logs in so the user will not have any access to the application if it doesn't pass this step so if you found this video helpful, please click the like button and consider subscribing to the channel so it can help us grow. I also share this link with a friend and they can learn something too. If you are a subscriber, thank you for that. And if you have any questions, suggestions or an implementation you'd like to see, please leave it in the comment section below. We always answer all the questions. I hope this content was useful to you and hope to see you back. See you soon. Bye bye.